acceptable daily intake, or ADI, is a scientific term that basically is a guidepost for scientists to review how much any food ingredient, including stevia, can be used by consumers on a daily basis. And so safety studies are looking at something called the ADI, the acceptable daily intake. They also look at things called the sort of tolerable upper limit. In other words, how, how high can you go in your consumption before something sort of unhealthy and unwanted could happen? At what point does this ingredient become toxic? So all that is to say, all that research has already been done. And many regulatory bodies across the world, from JECFA in the European Union to the FDA here in the U.S., in the U.K., the Food Safety Standards Agency, many, many bodies, country by country, have reviewed all these safety studies to determine that, yes, stevia is safe. They take it even one step further, and they say, let's look at these different specific stevioglycosides and see how they behave in different types of foods and beverages. So we want to know, if I take this stevioglycoside and I put it into dairy, is it still safe? Let's make sure there's no interaction with the dairy or something going on that would cause it to suddenly be unsafe. All that homework and all that due diligence done by toxicologists and nutritionists and other academic type researchers has been done, and therefore we can feel confident that stevia absolutely is safe. But the threshold is actually very high in something that I don't think any human can possibly accomplish it. It's 40 milligrams per kilogram. So let's say I have a 150-pound person can have 40 packets every single day of their life for the rest of their life. That's a lot of stevia. And again, nothing wrong if you ever achieve that, but that's just the threshold. Mm -hmm.